The human body is a huge, complex and complicated chemical factory. It consists of around 10 to the power of 27 atoms. Of these, 99.4% comprise the four most common building blocks. Water, protein, fat and carbohydrates. The most common elements are therefore the following. Everything is controlled by chemical reactions, even our thoughts. Otherwise drugs and psychotropic medication would have no effect. I took risperidone for a while and can report that this substance changes thoughts and even prevents some thoughts from occurring. Let me give you an outline of the video. I will first show you some chemical reactions based on luminol that can act as building blocks for an artificial chemical brain. Then I will show you a robot I have built for this purpose and at the end we will control this robot by chemical reactions. But first let me introduce today's sponsor, Next PCB. More on that later. The first chemical reaction I show is a NOR gate. All other logical gates can be built using NOR gates. The next luminol based reaction can be used as a timer. The third reaction is a so called oscillating luminol reaction. It's one of the most beautiful reactions I have ever seen so I show it in real time. If you are impatient, skip the part.
Oscillating reactions are of immense importance for life. For example, they act as a clock for periodic processes like the sinus node of the heart's excitation system or synchronized nerve activity in the brain. Okay, so let's take a look at the robot I have built so far. The most important part, the interface between the chemical and robotic world, is still missing. This is where my sponsor Next PCB comes into play, as a customized PCB is required. After I had designed my PCB, I uploaded the Gerber files to the Next PCB website, configured it accordingly and ordered it. Next PCB delivers high quality boards, is fast and very affordable. Just one week later, the PCBs had arrived. There are five color sensors on the PCB, one for each finger or thumb. The chip marked with IC1 is an I2C multiplexer, which is necessary because the color sensors have a fixed I2C address that cannot be changed by software or hardware. In addition to the PCB, some laser cut PMMA parts were needed to complete the interface. The glued on rubber seals prevent any drips from reaching the color sensors. Finally, my homemade micro overhead steerer was being used. Check out the video if you haven't seen it. Here you can see the luminol timer applied to the robot. What we haven't talked about yet is a non-volatile memory. This is also very easy to replicate chemically. I use a phenolphthalein solution that is either acidified or alkalized and thus represents various non-volatile memory states.
I think a microfluidic device would be the best way to build at least a simple complete chemical brain. The pumps are very important here. In my opinion, electroosmotic pumps are the most suitable. They can be miniaturized to any level and have no moving parts. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay true, stay you.